Good morning, everybody. This is Flav with Flav's Mortal Warships. I do apologize for my absence thus far. I know it's been a while since I posted up a video, but here we go. Uh, this is me and my uh, new Tier 8 Cleveland. This is past 0.7.5. And this is a stock Cleveland. Well, I mean, it's got its upgrades. It is a full concealment build. So that means it has a concealment of 9.1 kilometers and like 8.9 kilometer... Uh, Radar, I think. Yeah, see, I'm using all gold except for my repair, which is a mistake. But here we go. Uh, obviously, because of how new everything is, everybody's trying to grind out their Clevelands. And also, in preparation, I also want to have all the XP I can to get the new Tier 9. I can't remember the name of the cruiser. Whenever they deploy the new, all the rest of the American Light cruisers, the past 0 0.7.6, I think it's going to be in like a month. At the end of June, I think it is. I want to be ready to just bam have that tier nine cruiser ready to go, and hopefully in about two weeks, all these damn cruiser numbers will calm down, so I can get back to grinding my gearing. Or well, not my gearing, huh? My Benson I just got. I'm trying to get all the American tier tens right now, and I have the Montana Des Moines. I want the gearing. I want the Midway, which I have the Essex right now, and I want. The American Tier 9 uh, carrier, and I want the Wusta, which is going to be the American Tier 10 CL or light cruiser. Alright, so here we are. I'm going to be pushing A here. No, by pushing, I mean I'm going to be sitting behind an island like the coward I am and raining death and destruction down upon my enemies. With the help of a Mogami, a Ganizer now. Nice now, however the hell you say it. And I think a buffalo? I can't tell. I think it is a buffalo. Yeah, I think the buffalo is coming to help me. Um, and, I, yeah, that Bismarck's going to Bravo. Tangle with the Colorado. As you can see, there are some idiots in chat. Fucking DDs. I hate, I hate all whatever. Yeah, the guy's an idiot. World of Warships for you. Ugh, and you know what? I normally I like weekends, but I hate weekends and Mortal Warships, and that's what's coming up because today's Friday. Which, by the way, I do want to start doing videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That I think is going to be my schedule. Though I might go ahead and do one tomorrow, depending on how my games go today, just so I can kind of get into the swing of making videos regularly. But we shall see. Okay, we got the uh, Resident Fleet Admiral on our team. Oh, where are the torpedoes? The torpedoes. There's the Alsace, the French Tier 9 battleship. Great ship. I've yet to meet somebody who dislikes it. Okay, so, wow, look at that replay bug. There it is, the name fixed. That must be new with this patch. Because the the name was like 10 feet above the ship, or 10 feet ahead of the ship. Alright, here we go. So we got an Alsace, and we got a Balti. And at some point, it's going to be a Neptune and a Destroyer of some form. And the, I think it is the enemy Destroyer that comes in here. But I can't tell because the carrier didn't send any planes over here, so it's not spotting for me. And the Kageros screwing around at B. And losing the cap for that matter. I haven't even fired a shot yet. That Alsace. He saw the Ganizen now, the Buffalo, and the Mogami, and he said nope, and he started going backwards. Though, you know, I hear ships go faster going forwards than backwards, but you know, whatever, whatever. In hindsight, I should have pushed up to that island in the middle of the sea, but I didn't want to expose. Well, I don't know, because I don't really want to expose the broadside of that Colorado going into Bravo. Because he he, uh, we appear to have a Cleveland and a Baltimore pushing it from sea towards Bravo. They could have just as easily swung into my side. All right, looks like we have a Bismarck coming in to help us as well, which is good, because that Gneisenau is burning from stem to stern. 
Send the stern. Bow to stern. There we go. Thank you. Jesus. Jesus, Flavius. Just like I'm going around to pick a fight with Balti. Uh, not my brightest moment, but you know what? Whatever. I need to get into the fight. Too, too bad the carriers aren't coming over here. I could go for some planes. Wink, wink. There we go. Let's uh, start raining death and destruction down upon the Balti there. I don't want to poke out too far and give my broadside to the Alsace. He will one shot delete my ass. And it will be no fun, and this video wouldn't exist. Okay, I can't I can't remember if he's gonna take a torpedo, but he's dead either way. No excuse for him to take a torpedo. He gets Yep, that's my first kill right there. 16. 16 shots and 3,100 damage later, and I sniped a kill. Whatever. All's fair in love and war. But this is the game, I think, that actually let me buy the uh, fire control system upgrade to get me an extra 1.5 kilometers or so on the range, which is nice. Who just derped the shots? To, yeah, it was the Buffalo. It happens with cruisers, and it doesn't matter as much. So this game does start out slow, but whenever it picks up, it picks up. Alright, there we go. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, set them on fire. Because that's what I do. I'm, I'm a Cleveland. And I've the tier 8 Cleveland has kind of a ridiculous rate of fire. Like 6 seconds. And I have Adrenaline Rush on this captain. So that means that if I take damage, my reload rate gets faster. Much to the chagrin of my enemies. Okay, the Colorado's going down. Let's see if I can snipe that. Let's see if I can snipe that kill as well. Nope, I'm just gonna derp into an island. Whatever. Bang, 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 bang. Look at that Amer look at that beautiful shot. Maybe if I set him on fire, he's done. Nope, but the buffalo set him on fire, and I think buffalo is kind of a ridiculous fire chance. He's dead either way. Buffalo burned him out. We need to start burn. We need to start burning this all sauce down. I'm getting secondary fire from the all sauce here. Set him on fire again. That fire is going to stick because he put out the other one that I set immediately. So he's a. I hate. Battleships that do that stop because now he's on fire in two, if not three places. And there's nothing he can do about it. And now I'm just racking up damage at this point, and he's down below 20,000 health. There's the Neptune. Now, the Neptune, I should have queued up the AP here because the Neptune was made of Citadel Z Horse, and Pensacola is the American Tier 6 cruiser. Which, by the way, for those of you that don't know, 0.7.5. Came out, so that means that the Pensacola is tier 6, New Orleans is tier 7, and Baltimore is tier 8, and the Buffalo is tier 9. And they also introduced the Kronstadt recently, which is a battleship, not a cruiser. I don't care what war game he tells you, it's a battleship. And the enemy has one, and I want one. I need to save up my XP. Actually, next time I have the money, I have the free, X I have the free XP on my ship, so I might get some doubloons. Take that Shen Yang under fire there. There's a chance that he's launching torpedoes here, so I should be putting up the Hydra. I don't know that I do, though. Uh, he's maneuvering heavily, though. It's going to be hard. Yep, there's the Hydra acoustic search to try to snuff out any torpedoes. Set him on fire, take out a gun. Not that it matters with a Shen Yang, they're not going to use their guns. would be nice to get this destroyer killed so that we can kind of have that advantage Ooh, what is this is that lag that didn't happen during the game I don't know I'm sorry about that guys this is like my daca doc is going off okay torpedo bombers coming in put up the defensive AA 
start racking up the plane kills. I don't know what led this carrier to try to flip planes over me, but he's gonna pay for it. Okay, he gets a bomb drop off on me. My defensive AA sca successfully scattered the second bomb drop in the all miss, and I think the entire squadron died. And the Kagero killed the Shen Yang, so that threat's out of action. You know, I didn't notice this before, but our carrier died. Huh. I didn't notice this mid battle. Yeah, but there I am talking trash in chat, because that's what I do. I'm kind of an ass. Whatever. But it's time to push, I think. But when we do push, me and the guys now, we push together. Which was very important so that we could survive. And I think I'm about to go into team chat and ask him to help. Because I think I'm tired of hiding behind this island. I'm at 35k with... You know, two, with a kill. And all kinds of planes. Yep, yeah, here we go. It's time to push. There's a Neptune over there, though, and he is brutal. That, that British AP against me... That would be brutal to take. So I don't give him... We're not going to give him the chance. There's his radar. Or his hydro. Either way. There we go. I light him up with my own radar. There we go. The Neptune is going to... I asked the Gnizen now in chat there for help with the Neptune. Now the Colorado... They've had a backline in Colorado that's been going to town this entire freaking game. And I think that was him that just took a shot at me. The Neptune's gonna come out to play. There we go. I've loaded up the AP. Bam, bam. Caught Gnizen that we. Gnizen now and I just one two punched him. I even got a Citadel with my American 152s. That was hilarious. I I died laughing in team speak when that happened. Now I'm trying to figure out what to shoot at next, and I think it's going to wind up being that Colorado. More air attack incoming. My defensive A is almost back up now. Totally missed. Defensive AA is back off cooldown. So, yep, these bombers are done. Not sure what possessed this idiot carrier player to try to take shots at me. But he lost every last one of those planes. And I'm up to 21 plane kills. 21 more than I should have ever had if this carrier knew what he was doing. 22 plane kills. I'm about to die. Yeah, but we took the cap. That's the important part. We took the cap. And we killed off a Neptune. And we killed off all kinds of planes. You know what? You may you may criticize before, but slowing down there saved my hide there for another Colorado salvo because that means that his salvo went into my bow, not my midsection. Which means he couldn't really get a good solid citadel hit on me. There we go, that's a fire. That's it for me though. Yep, I got another salvo off. Before I went down though and he's letting that fire burn like he should because he's about to be in a brawl with the Gnizen now and those secondaries will set more fires um, let's see here Trying to figure out how to. Well, whatever, the fight's right there in front of us. I don't know why it's not letting me. There we go. At least we're getting the perspective of the Gnizen out player now. I don't know what the camera's doing. It must have been lagging and whenever I pushed all the buttons. 
now it's all of a sudden deciding to work. Yeah, because now I can't even do anything with even my mouse wheel. Crap. I thought the Ganizen and I was going to go for the ram here, but no, he went for the torpedo attack. Now he took a risk here given that Colorado was broadside because he could have deleted them if he was reloaded. But I guess he had the reload judged. Because bang, bang, that's two torpedo hits. Which, by the way, I wound up doing an additional, like, 6 or 7k in fire damage. And the Ganizen now gets the close quarters expert. And I wound up tossing that Ganizen now a compliment. See, there it is. And he tossed me one back because we, we took this cap freaking together. That buffalo did help, but he died pretty early on. <sighs> I'm an ass, but I give credit where credit's due. They got the one KGB. Or KGB. KGV. But he's tangling with the battleship Kronstadt. His very strong ship, comrade. Because clearly the Russian Navy was the best in the world during World War II. Says Wargaming. Of course, I guess it had to be good if you wanted us to spend, I think, 350,000 free XP on a tier 9 cruiser. Okay. Oh, and that's a thousand points. And look at those stats. Over 300,000 credits earned. With over 8,000 total experience, close to 8,500. With almost 53,000 damage done. And what was that? 140 shell hits. 2,000 base XP with two ship kills and 27 plane kills. Um, the rest of this, you can look at, your, look at at your leisure. If you enjoyed the content, please click like and subscribe and also the bell button so you don't miss a single video. I will try to put out a video tomorrow on Saturday. If not, I will see you Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Take care, and I will catch you next time.